Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be filming a quick little review on the ColourPop Times Sophia Luxe Lipstick Collaboration. So I am super excited for this video today because I am so happy for this collaboration. I just think it's so perfect. It's so Sophia. Like, I love her content. I've seen every single video that she has uploaded on her channel. I love Tyler. I love Krusty. Who doesn't love Krusty? I'm just like super pumped for this collection because it's been a while since Colourpop has collabed with someone that just made so much sense and this collaboration is just like the perfect collaboration. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into my review. All right, let's go ahead and get started with some product info. Sophia came out with six luxe lipsticks these are eight US dollars each or you can get in a bundle where you get all six for 46 US dollars she has four cream formula and two matte formula honestly just looking at these lipsticks it is just so Sophia there is so many little details to the packaging that I absolutely love and the shades the shade names everything about this collection just makes so much sense the fact that she did luxe lipsticks inspired by her Franken lipsticks that she has made and all of her bad science lipsticks Sticks. My outfit for today, I did try to wear black and something of a bat wing. Not really, but that's all I had in my closet. So if you are new to my channel or if you are new to Colourpop and you're wondering about the formula itself, if you take away Sophia's name, the Lux Lipsticks is such a beautiful lip formula. It's one of my favorites from Colourpop. The cream formula is my favorite. I do like the matte, but I do prefer the cream. So I'm glad that she has full cream and two matte. And yeah, they're just really comfortable, pigmented lipsticks. The cream have more of a satin finish. Even the mattes, um, I would say they are quite smooth and high hydrating, they don't tug on your lips. So the Lux Lipstick formula is a very great formula. Overall, um, the Lux Lipsticks are a favorite of mine, so I'm glad that this came out. I also think it's a really good range. She has like nudes to reds and then to your dark, unique colors, as well as creams and mattes. So you get a bit of everything. I feel like in this collection, if you didn't want to buy the whole set, you can purchase uh, like one lipstick that will suit you. I do just want to quickly talk about the little packaging details. Details. I think it's worth mentioning because I can tell that she put a lot of effort and thought into it So let's just first talk about the box itself This is the box that it comes in if you do buy it in the bundle the bat the matte black and the silver And then when you open it up you see this little picture in the inside and I just think it's so her like her mixing all her lipsticks I think it really represents her and the pop of color in there as well And then when you look at the actual bullet, I love how they made the bullet like a gun metal kind of black gray with the bats on it it has her name on the bottom and then when you open it up the bullet itself has the bats another cute thing that i saw is that the bullet itself is very monochromatic you can see that this lipstick here has a burgundy stripe on here and actually on the inside of the cap matches the lipstick itself i don't think i've ever seen any of the other luxe lipsticks do that if they did maybe they did but i just I only realized it in her collection. From shade range to formula to packaging, everything is super well done. I love how this collection is just the six Lux lipsticks. It's not a big collection. It is just true to her and it's perfect timing because it is Halloween and a lot of these shades are pool very Halloween-y. So yeah. That's like my quick little review. I know it wasn't that quick. Although it's not shades that I would wear every day, it's very unique shades and beautiful shades that I'm glad that I have in my collection. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the swatches. I'm gonna kinda talk over the swatches because there's a couple of comments that I wanna mention about certain shades. Starting off with Mrs. Norris. This is described to be a sultry gray brown, like the color of a gray tabby or a stone castle. The shade is pretty cool toned on on me but it is a very unique shade I feel like in Colourpop's Lux lipstick family there's not a shade very close to this and for me personally I don't like cool tones on me but I think this really suits my skin tone really well it doesn't wash me out it doesn't make me look unwell like cool tone lip colors usually do so although I'm not a fan of the undertone I think it does look quite flattering on me 
what do you guys think? Let me know. The next shade we have is Bikini Bottom. This is described to be a pinky beige nude and it's the original Bad Makeup Science shade. This was inspired by Sophia's video where she mounted all her nudes together. Against my skin tone, it really does pull more of a cool tone nude and again, I don't really like cool tones but this one is actually quite flattering. I could see myself wearing this as like an everyday nude. I think for a certain skin tone, this could be your perfect nude. And if you typically like more cooler tone nudes, then you would actually really like this one. But it's cool to see that universal nude shade because, again, it is inspired by the lipstick that she made. Next up, we have the shade Bury Me in Lipstick. This is described to be a universally flattering mauve berry shade. And this lipstick was inspired from the lipstick that she made when she mounted over 600 lipsticks. And I would have to agree that it is universally flattering just because berries, you can see it on fair skin, medium skin tones, and darker skin tones. It's a very flattering shade. So yeah, I actually really like it. It applies on like a dream. Very, very beautiful shade. And now we have the shade Fred. This is described to be a full bodied red with a bunch of different undertones. It's the Franken Red Fred for short. So this is claimed to be in the creme formula, but when I was applying it on, I definitely felt like it was more of the matte formula so I do think there's a little bit of a mix up if you guys got this collection at home do you think Fred is a cream formula I personally feel like it feels more like a matte but it's a very beautiful red again I think the red is also a very universally flattering shade can't go wrong with a bold red and now we have the shade screamer this is described to be a matte deep burgundy almost black color and I would have to completely agree with that. It's super super dark but with these kind of shades, more burgundy plum black shades, they can be patchy and that was the case with this one. I think from far away you can't really see the patchiness but if you're up close you definitely could see it. I still think it's a beautiful shade. I don't want to take away from Screamer because a lot of these shades will be patchy. It's really hard to find like a dark plum lip color that isn't so I'm not like saying it's a bad lip color but I just want to give you guys my thoughts and what happened when I was applying it. And lastly, the shade that I am wearing today, we have Brucey. This is described to be a matte, sharky, blue-green color. So this shade is claiming to be the matte formula, but me personally applying it on, I think it's the creme formula. So I think there was a little bit of a mix-up. I'm not really too sure. I think Fred, it's claimed to be a creme, but it feels like a matte. And then Brucey, it's claimed to be a matte, but it feels like a cream. So I think if you just switch those two around, the formula, then it makes more sense to me because when I applied Brucey on, it was super creamy, just like the creme formula, not like the matte formula. So, I mean, it doesn't take away from the lip color itself, but for those of you guys that are wanting to purchase and you wanted to get Brucey because it was a matte, from my opinion, I feel like it's more like a cream. And if you wanted to buy Fred because you wanted a creme finish red lipstick, I personally feel like it's more of a matte lipstick. Just a heads up. It could just be me personally going insane, but it's just what I felt on my lips when I was applying them on. I've only worn these lipsticks today, like trying them on. I haven't worn them out multiple times. It's not a first impressions because I know the formula is good. It's more of like a first impressions where I just tried on the colors for the first time. So those were all six lip colors on me. I hope you guys enjoyed that lip swatch portion to see it on my skin tone. If you're gonna ask me which shade is my favorite, the shade that I probably would wear most is Fred, the classic red, because I do wear red lipsticks from time to time and it's probably the lipstick that I'm gonna pick up the most. Probably Bikini Bottom next because that is like the nude and I actually quite like the cool tone nude. Like there's a time and place for a warm nude and there's a time for a cool tone nude if you know what I mean but 
all in all, I think all of these lipsticks are very beautiful, very unique. They bring a different shade into the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick family. I don't think these are going to be permanent shades. Definitely would say grab it while you can. Support Sophia. I think she's just one of those genuine content creators and a very creative content creator. She brings something different to the table. It's just her content is just in her own niche, I feel like. It's just so unique, so well done, just like this collaboration. So yeah, I'm just going to leave the review here because I feel like, again, I'm just going in circles. But if you guys did enjoy this review and this lip swatch video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on this collection or what do you guys think of it. I would love to hear your opinions, so drop your comments down below. And with that being said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! See you next time.